I have to say I haven't seen all of them because I'm in a show right now. I'm doing a play, so I haven't seen a lot of them. But I know what film I can't wait to see a lot of them. So I, I you know, I'll be a Lancer that <laughs> hopefully in a couple it. of weeks. You know, the year is kind of just beginning. I've been working. I've got a stack of screeners, and uh, the holidays coming. When I have a little break, uh, I'm gonna, you know, watch a lot of movies. Um. Well, I haven't seen them all, so I shouldn't. I can't really say. Obviously, I'm quite partial to the favorite. Yeah, I did like it. It was kind of quirky. I definitely love it. Anyway. I like it because I'm in it. <laughs> oh, no, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm looking forward. I'm giving out best picture tonight. I've been giving out the final award. So, I'm looking forward to talking to folks like you. Um, no, not really. You know, I still haven't seen enough. I haven't seen First Man. I haven't seen Suspiria. So I'm trying to watch everything in a the theater, not on screeners. So once I get caught up, then maybe I'll have a, a You're favorite. old school. Yeah, got to. Got to, man. A lot to, man. Yeah. <laughs> For this particular project, I, I read it and I certainly wanted it in so badly. I, I love this. I love her writing, Tamara Jenkins' writing. And I oh, I mean, I mean, there's so many. I just saw. Well, I did see Hereditary this summer with my husband, and that was pretty profoundly. <laughs> I mean, I could. I saw things and felt things that I could never unsee or unfeel, for sure. I don't know if you saw that movie, but yeah. Woo, yeah. Ooh, I loved uh, eighth grade. Bo Burnham's eighth grade. Uh, also about middle school. Very different approach to what we're doing on the show, but I, I just think it's a beautifully realized film. Bo's super funny and talented. It's awkward. It's real. It's hilarious. It's scary. It's kind of everything you want in a movie, and, and I, I couldn't recommend it enough. Really big movies and really little movies. Yeah. Roma. I just saw it. I, I maybe that's maybe everybody's saying that. I don't know. I really was really blown away. It, it's a masterpiece. I, I couldn't believe how good it was. It's just brilliantly filmed, and not because of the black and white thing that could have been in color. I don't care about that, and I, I don't think that. A movie has to be in black and white to be appreciated for its cinematography or anything like that. I, I, I'm not old fashioned that way. It's just beautifully framed and the story, the way it's told through the camera is brilliant. The acting is just astonishing. You've never seen any of these people before. It feels like real life. And then on top of that, it, it's not like a kind of opaque, weird story that's inaccessible. It's very emotional and very moving. And um, yeah. I'm sorry. A lot of arm I think there's a lot of lot of really good movies this year. I mean, you know, where do you start? Star is Born, First Man, The Favourite, uh, Quiet Place I thought was really good, um, Widows by Michael Patchett, Steve McQueen. I think there's a lot of good movies this year. Roma and The Favourite are two outstanding in any year. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm sure they will everything. Uh, sorry to bother you. That film was like, what is going on here, Boots Riley? Oh, God. <laughs> Definitely. I, I would agree on that. Yeah. How about yourself? Um, I just saw Suspiria. Oh. And yeah, you know. Tom York soundtrack. How about that? Yeah, he is going to get nominated for that. Badass, music. crazy movie that I can't stop thinking about. I just saw it a week ago, and I'm I am still thinking about it. Yeah.